Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing the first used GPU that I bought here for the channel, which is the HD 5770. And it has some memories attached to it because it was back when I reached 3000 subscribers three or four years ago, maybe four actually. And I bought it for 20 euros. I still remember going out and buying it because it was the first used GPU again that I bought here. So I was really nervous to see if it worked or not and I was also really nervous to make that 3000 subscriber special video because it was the first time that I actually talked in one of my videos so it, it's actually quite cringe and don't go watch it please <laughs> Anyways, my friends, this GPU released back in October of 2009, so it's 11 years old at this point, which is insane, because it still supports DirectX 11, not like the Nvidia GPUs at the time, so that means that we can actually test some new games here on the little 5770. Now, the 5770 was a mid-range card back when it released in 2009, and it released for $159, guys, for the one gigabyte GDDR5 model which is this one that I have right here and just yeah mid-range at $159 that that's just insane nowadays guys let's just install this in the system and see what it does in 2020 shall we and here we go everybody we're now in the desktop i'm just searching for the gpu here in hardware info so i can show you yeah there we go amd radeon hd 5770 it only shows in hardware info for some reason uh over here in ms afterburner and amd radeon settings it only shows up as amd radeon hd 5700 series we're running the latest drivers right now available for this card which are the crimson 16.2.1 and i'm running it with a ryzen 73700 x and 16 gigs of ram which is totally overkill i know but it's my main pc we don't want any cpu bottlenecks because we're testing the gpu only here in this video so let's get right into gta 5 the first game going over the settings i'm playing at 1080p resolution guys directx 11 as well i told you this one actually uh, supports that api and these are the settings it's like normal settings which is low settings and these sliders over here are set to like 140 or whatever advanced settings are all turned off all right so as you can see 1080p in gta 5 is actually very durable with the hd5770 i am recording by the way with an external capture card so there are no fps loss because of the recording you know and uh Wow, it's just, it's pretty good. You know, it's a pretty good experience here in GTA 5. If it manages to get 30 plus FPS all of the time, it's 100% playable. You could play this with a controller, for example, and be fine. And the good thing is, if you have something like a Core 2 Quad with 8 gigs of RAM, it's gonna perform the same, because that CPU is good for around 30 to 40 FPS in this game as well. So the 3700X, although it's overkill, of course, it's not really doing anything but allowing the GPU to run at 100% usage and something like a 4th gen i3 will do exactly the same or even like a 2nd gen i3 probably. Uh, Alright, so I'm trying to not hit anybody as I usually do here, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying that, you know, it, it just, yeah, it happens every single time, okay? Oh god, okay, yep, never mind, guys, it's every, every time, every time. I can't, I can't do a flawless run here in GTA. Okay, it's time for the jump, oh boy, alright, there we go. Okay, all good, all good. So most demanding area usually in our benchmark run is this one because of the grass. Grass is... Really intense. Oh, I didn't kill it. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, grass is really intensive in GPUs here, but as we are running the lowest grass setting, it's not really that intensive. Hi, Jack. How are you doing, buddy? Very smooth and playable experience. No stuttering issues whatsoever as well. So, due to the popularity of Rocket League, I decided to include it here in this video. I think it's a very adequate game for a 5770 these days. We're playing at 1080p, high quality, render quality and the performance render detail. Uh, 
whatever this means. I think it's low settings at native 1080p resolution. Let's go. I couldn't even finish a sentence yet and they just, they, they already uh, scored two goals. So this is amazing, guys. This is, are we gonna do this right now? Uh, nope, nope, we are not. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the stutter right now, guys. Holy crap, I forgot to count our FPS, by the way. Uh, sometimes the game's actually smooth, but sometimes it stutters. I've seen this issue with other GPUs as well. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe I should play in DirectX 9. Try to do that if you have a GPU like this one. You should also get slightly higher FPS. Remember that I'm only benchmarking the GPU here. I, this is probably one of the games that I suck the most in, you know? Oh boy, oh god damn it. Well, I was kind of expecting 60 plus FPS here at 1080p low settings, but you can't really have everything, you know? If you lower the resolution, it's gonna be a much more playable experience. Oh god, okay. Well, guys, that's, that's enough. That's completely enough here. 5 to 0, uh, the 5770 can definitely play this game. So it's time for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This is not gonna go well, probably. We already got a warning right there. You're running an unsupported video driver. 720p, 50% resolution scale. So it means that we're actually playing at 360p. Uh, yeah, let me show you the rest of the settings. Everything is set to the lowest settings, basically, okay? Oh boy, okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, no, why? Why did you go to the menu? I don't get it. Oh. Oh, this is way too bad right now. Oh my god. All right, guys. So there it's some limitation within the GPU definitely here. You know, it's it's getting worse FPS than the 710. Uh, the drivers aren't supported as you saw. It's just a mess in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and it's basically a mess in these newer titles that are very very demanding. So if you want to play these games don't just don't play them with a 5770. It's not really doable. Mm, I don't like this, guys. I'm not liking this. Okay, so this is CSGO, obviously. We're playing at 1080p resolution with the low settings. And unfortunately, this game was actually very playable uh, earlier, like last year or something like that. And now it just sucks because there's a lot of stuttering and micro stuttering issues and stuff like that. So uh, I don't think it's playable anymore. Like, look at that. It just doesn't feel smooth. Ah, I should probably camp, guys. I don't know. Although our FPS are decent, and you could still play like this, don't get me wrong. It's just not a very smooth experience, and it was a very smooth experience like a year ago or so. Uh, it was just after one of the updates here in this game that it just broke the performance completely in older cards and like uh, lower end cards even the GTX 580 which was basically a beast and more than what you needed for CSGO it struggles in this game now which doesn't make any sense whatsoever oh god you just spawning everywhere Jesus man me as well, look at that, what was that spawn, <laughs> seriously game? Okay, okay, we're doing this though, we're almost winning this, god, no! Well, we still finished third, my friends, but it's just very, very unpleasant, like it's not smooth at all, we got 44 1% lows. It's time for Apex Legends and uh, knowing that this game doesn't really like old architecture of GPUs, I just set it to 640 by 480 right away. It still shows 1024 by 768 because the game doesn't really support lower resolutions, but I set it to 640 by 480 in the launch options. We're playing at the lowest settings, of course. Let's go. Oh, look, I'm in the champion squad. Perfect. Good stuff. Let's go. Oh boy, this is not good stuff at all. I expected... A a little bit better FPS than these to be honest guys we're gonna go to the epicenter which is the most intensive area in this entire map because it's probably broken but I don't care I, I want to see the FPS there let's go all right here we go let's start counting our FPS right now it's not too bad it's touching 60 FPS almost and uh, but if, if I if I just yeah if I look in that direction you can see that it's just not really uh, 
playable. Yeah, it drops into the mid-twenties, which is definitely not what you want in Apex Legends. You know what, guys? If you don't look at the FPS, it might be doable. I don't know, my friends. Oh, God, thirties, twenties. Mm, okay, don't look at the FPS, Crisp. Let's do this. Oh, boy. You can barely see at this resolution, guys. How, th how am I not dead yet? Okay, well, that's, that's good. That's interesting. There's a guy right there. Yeah, that's Gibraltar. And I really need to... Oh boy, I don't have shields. Okay, then. Uh, this is gonna go not very well. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, with 43 FPS on average. That's not too bad. So, Rainbow Six Siege. Let's see how it runs. We got a warning here. Same as Assassin's Creed Odyssey, by the way. And we're playing at the 720p resolution. There we go. 1280 by 720. 90 FOV right here. With the lowest settings and no TAA and TA listing. Maybe I should use it. I, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's do the low settings preset. You know, TAA at 50% as well. The game doesn't look too bad at these settings with the TAA enabled. You know, it makes everything a little bit too soft, but oh god, oh god, the 30 FPS is real. Uh, no, gosh, I couldn't do it. What's happening here? What are you doing, dude? Come on, mate. Okay, I got one. And there's another one right here. Good, good, good. Very nice positioning here, guys. Okay, we're doing this. Not bad. Kind of playable, isn't it? Uh, I can't really see where the heck... I think the guy shot from there, but I'm not too sure. Yeah, he's there. All right, there we go, friends. We did it. We killed three guys. 50 FPS on average. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is that... I think that... Yeah, that's a drone. <laughs> what the hell? I, I could barely see that, you know? It looked like a, a rolling sausage just there in the ground. There's a drone there. There's a guy there. Down. Oh, no! This is, guy, this is my guy. Okay, okay, okay. Was not expecting that. The guy just left! I didn't get a kill because the guy just left! God damn it! Well, there's another one. <laughs> what is happening here? Are they playing at like 360p or something? Okay, well, we, we did everything. We, we just... yeah. Uh, I, I'm first place in my team with 50 FPS on average. We are now gonna play some Far Cry 5. You can see the driver message right there once again. Uh, yeah, that, that's just uh, Ubisoft. At least they warn you, you know. 720p as you can see right there. Low settings across the board. 100% resolution scale. So this is full native 720p. And uh, wow. Look at this, guys. It's... Although it's below 30 FPS, I guess this could actually be a playable experience for a lot of people. At least back in the days, I used to play with like 25, 30 FPS, and I was absolutely fine. I was also like 11 years old, but... <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying that somebody out there might find this experience playable. At least it's responsive. I am moving the mouse around. I'm not really feeling any input lag or noticeable input lag, so it's okay. It's not too bad. Well, I wanted to come over here and kill some enemies, but uh, it seems like there are none. So I think the explosions will have to do. Drops to the ninth. Oh my god, 15 FPS. Okay, well, guys, remember when I said that uh, some people might find this playable? Well, never mind. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It, it might still be doable for some people. Oh god, and it's only in explosions, you know. Whenever you explode something, it drops, but then it gets back into the 20s again. You know what? I, I could play like this. There we go, another big explosion. This one was actually fine. Lots of particles as well. Holy crap, look at this. Oh, oh, I just threw a Molotov into the what? <laughs> Uh, hello, buddy. How are you doing? Oh boy, he's gonna explode, isn't he? Uh, get over here, boy. It doesn't feel like I'm playing with 20-something FPS, guys. Sometimes it hits 30, of course, but it's just... Yeah, it's definitely way better than what I was expecting coming from 25-something FPS. Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, it doesn't really drop too much with the fire effects. Okay, yep, you know what, this is doable. Right, PUBG time, let's do this. 720p resolution, very low settings, 100% render scale. Can it stay above 30 FPS at all times? Let's see. 
Okay, hopefully no one's gonna drop with me. Well, they are gonna drop with me, so maybe I'm just gonna go this way instead. There, there's a guy already there. Oh boy, okay, this is bad. Start counting our FPS, here we go. 50s right now. Holy crap, that is great, actually. Game, please give me guns. I don't want grenades and bullets, I want guns. Come on. No, god damn it, seriously. Okay, all right, we got a deagle, all right. Deagle with 30 FPS is not very good, guys. 1% lows are dropping from 30 FPS, but I didn't really see it dropping from 30, by the way. So, uh, uh, the 1% lows are a lie, <laughs> as you can see there. Okay, now it dropped from 30. Ah, god damn it. I was really, really expecting 30 plus all of the time here at these settings. You know what, maybe it's this map that it's a little bit more demanding on this GPU because of all of the vegetation and stuff like that. But that's also why I chose this map, I want to see worst case scenario. If it handles the game well in the worst case scenario, it will obviously handle the game well at other uh, in other maps. Finally got a semi-decent gun and I'm like dead, instantly dead. <laughs> And it's time for Fortnite here on the HD 5770. I'm gonna be playing at 720p with the low settings using the... Is, 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 no, it's not in DirectX 12. It says DirectX 12, but it's DirectX 11 right there because this doesn't support DirectX 12. Thank you very much to the guy that sent me this skin. I'm truly appreciated. This is an awesome looking skin, by the way. I'm not sure if I should, guys. Just... There we go. No, but okay, okay. A bad idea, bad idea, probably a very bad idea. Anyways, I totally forgot to just start counting our FPS. No, I'm gonna die right now. I am gonna die. No, I didn't die. Good stuff, guys. I, I managed to get him. Right. Get over here, boy. All right, there we go. So I remember back in like season 9, season 8 of chapter 1 here in Fortnite, this game used to run very, very well with the 50, 50, 50, 5770. But yeah, this GPU was totally capable of getting like 60 plus FPS all of the time at 720p resolution. Even if it doesn't drop from 30, it's very inconsistent. So I, I don't really like the experience here. It's not really a competitive experience. It's still playable though, don't get me wrong. Okay, that might be a bot actually. That's very likely a bot and I can't... Okay, I, I could kill a bot. What? What is that? What? Okay, okay. <laughs> what the hell? What? What? Oh boy, okay. <laughs> oh my god. I was not expecting that. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, okay. I was... I was kind of thinking that we'd win this one, but I'm not sure anymore. Oh boy, okay, okay, all good, all good. Oh, we actually did it! Okay, I was just healing myself, I didn't even see anything, but okay, we, we made it. Well, 5770, it's playable, I could do some things there. Not the greatest experience, not the greatest experience, <laughs> but uh, it, it's, it's doable, it's okay. So, Battlefield 5, this game didn't allow me to test the HD 5770 back when it launched, but now it actually works. 720p resolution with the low settings, of course, 100% resolution scale, not too bad. If it manages a 30 FPS average, I'll be okay with that. It's quite, like, skipping frames, I think, sometimes. Weird stuff. Yeah, I, I'm impressed with this performance, actually, my friends. Oh, that guy was dead. Uh, lots of smoke right here. Don't like smokes with these lower end cards, but it didn't seem to affect our FPS too much, so that's okay. All right, one kill. Uh, just spraying and praying, my friends. So it is playable, guys. Oh, are you serious? Uh, like, how? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff, friends. Again, there's no input lag, which is actually making this playable. If there was input lag, I couldn't really be getting any kills. I really didn't expect to say this, but Battlefield 5 is actually playable on the 5770. We're getting 32 FPS on average. Oh, hello there. How are you doing, buddy? Good stuff. This is, this is good stuff, friends. Holy crap. Did you see that? Did you see? Double kill with 30 FPS. 
Right, we're playing Valorant right now, my friends. 1080p resolution with the high settings because, well, Valorant runs in every single potato, so the 5770 should be able to play this game fairly well. And you can see that is the case because we're getting like 80 to 100 FPS. So that's that's awesome, guys. Okay, let's put on my try-hard face so I can actually play the game well. Uh, all right, there's another one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's all good. It's all good. Very playable, my friends. You only need something like a third gen i5 to achieve these frames. Maybe a second gen one. I, I heard you. I heard you. The guy right here. Got him. Got him both. Okay, good stuff, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you want, buddy? Gosh! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I should play this game more often, you know. I, I almost never play Valorant, and every time I get into a deathmatch, I just do this. It's just. Ooh, what was that? That was completely kind of random. Not completely random, but it was kind of random. There we go. No, no. No, not from... Ah! Last kill, guys. Can we get a knife kill? Can we get a knife kill? Uh... No, come on. Okay, okay. Wait a second, guys. Knife kill incoming! Knife kill incoming! No! No! <laughs> no! You get over here, boy! Nice! Ah! <laughs> Alright. Fair play, fair play, though. Alright, there we go. Perfect, my friends. So unfortunately, the final game can't be Crisis. Yes, we're not gonna ask the question, can it run Crisis? Because it can't open the game, at least the remastered, you know. So I decided to go for the second most demanding game of this year, or maybe actually the first, which is Microsoft Flight Simulator, of course, 720p, low settings, with the render scaling set to 50, which means that we're playing at 360p, not at 720p. All right, let, let's just try it in New York, because because it's the most demanding area in this entire world map. <laughs> it's gonna go great. It's gonna go great, guys. Nothing to fear. Uh, so it just it just crashed. It crashed to the desktop, guys. I don't think it can run it. <laughs> okay, so maybe we should go to a less demanding area. What do you think, guys? I'm gonna go to Lisbon. I think it... No, it didn't crash. Okay, okay, we did it. We did it. It actually got into the game good stuff you can't obviously play like this because it's just you can't read anything uh, but uh, let's go let's go let's go look at these beautiful graphics well at least it's running guys i i did not expect it to run to be honest after the last crash so okay you know what you could still run around like this but why would you? Because this, these graphics just suck. I, oh boy, I really thought it would crash there. But no, it was just a massive stutter. We only got one gigabyte of VRAM. You know what? What about what about 720p? I, I want to see... Yeah, I want to see. I, I literally want to see something. You can't really see anything like this. Uh, a couple of FPS slower. Maybe like 5 FPS slower, something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just 3 FPS lower. Uh, it looks kind of terrible, still. I will not play like this. I will not recommend anybody to play like this, obviously. Uh, you can't even appreciate anything in this game with graphics like these and frame rates like these, of course. So just, just don't play Microsoft Light Simulator with a 5770. Okay, guys, just do me that favor. So it's conclusion time. And do I recommend the HD 5770 in 2020? And the answer is... No, yeah, I, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> like, it's a hard question because if you find one of these for 10 bucks, it's hard to say no. You can actually play some games with it, as you could see. Of course, newer titles are not playable at all. Like, especially DX12 titles or Vulcan titles, they won't even open in this GPU. The, the ones that it did open, it actually played them. And although it didn't get the best FPS, it was still a fighter. So that's been it, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the HD 5770 in 2020. Thanks for watching again, my friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.